Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at the whole number multiplication models, beginning with the repeated addition model. This model connects multiplication to a previously learned operation of addition. It views multiplication as the grouping of equal sized sets, or we can think of the adding of equal sized groups. So let's take the problem four times five as an example. In the repeated addition model, we would add four sets of five. So we would have five plus five plus five plus five. So here we're adding four equal size sets of five each. So we get four times five is 20. Let's take another problem for example. Instead of writing it out just as an equation, we might also look at it on a number line, maybe a bit more visually. So three times two says we should add up three sets of two each, or two plus two plus two. So our three sets of two land us at six on our number line. So three times two is six. So those are two ways of looking at the repeated addition model. Another model for whole number multiplication is the rectangular array model. This model uses the number of rows and columns in an array to model multiplication. It's more visual than the repeated addition model. Now let's take a look at four times five again. In the rectangular array model, we would build a rectangle with four rows with five items in each row. So here's the first row, second, third, and fourth. Now in the beginning, students might then want to count up each of these items and realize that there are 20 items. So four times five is 20. This is very similar to another model, which is called the area model. As I said, this model is similar to the rectangular array model. It's also a very visual model. And this model connects very well to the commutative property of multiplication. So it can be leaned upon when we start to teach students about commutativity. So let's take three times two. In the area model, we would take a rectangle and we would divide it into either three rows with two items each or two rows with three items each. Students can then count the number of blocks in each representation and get that the area or the answer to our multiplication of three times two is six. All right, guys, that does it for this video on whole number multiplication models. Keep watching and we'll catch you in the next video.